Hi, this video is from Interpid.com. Interpid.com is a job portal. We are looking into the uh, Spring MVC tutorial. In the previous video I was talking about dispatcher server. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is handler mapping and what's the purpose. So, what is handler mapping? Usually, an application may have several controllers. In the demo application I was showing you, it's a uh, it contains only a simple hotel controller, only one control. But in the real scenario, you might have multiple control, multiple controllers in your Spring MVC application. To decide which controller to send the request or forward the request, dispatcher servlet refers to handler mapping. So, the connection between the dispatcher servlet and the controller, the handler mapping helps. For example, the handler mapping uses the URL that request holds to determine the appropriate controller. For example, here this is the URL that I've got in the request. So handler mapping will try to find out which controller has the mapping. And the, here I've given three URLs. So based on this, I'll select the controller and give it to the dispatch server. And then dispatch server will forward the request to the appropriate controllers. Dispatch server then sends a request to the controller indicated by the handler mapping. Spring distribution contains the following handler mapping B name URL, simple URL, con controller class name handler mapping, commons path map handler mapping, default annotation handler mapping. So, this is what we are using in our sample application. So, if you see here, rep request mapping. So, request mapping is the one we are using. So what will happen is whenever the URL comes, URL uh, in the request. So based on this pattern, it will try to find out the controller. So we have seen what is handler mapping in this video. We will see what is view resolver in the next video. Thank you and all the best.